Hi loves, in today's video, we're actually going to be doing our Thanksgiving prep. And I like to start off by making my cornbread. I like to use Emperor Margarine. And now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to dice up some onion as well as bell pepper and celery because everything that you put in your dressing vegetable wise you want to make sure you put that in your cornbread as well now i'm going to be using martha white yellow cornmeal this is the only cornmeal that i use whenever i'm making my cornbread for my dressing you guys when i tell y'all it is a game changer game changer this is the only cornmeal my grandmother used and she's the one that taught me how to make dressing so i'm just sticking to what i know now we're just going to go in and add in all of our dry ingredients and i'm going to be sure to link everything that i put in my cornbread as well as my dressing in the comment section below so if you guys want to try out the recipes then you absolutely can Now it's time for us to go in and add all of our wet ingredients, you guys. Now we're going to go in and add in two eggs. And I like to go ahead and pull those like white pieces out of my eggs. I don't like eating that. I've always been taught to pull that out. So go ahead and do that. And right there, you're actually done. But my grandmother, she likes to put in a box of cornbread jiffy mix. And just go ahead and follow the packaging on there. Go ahead mix that in a separate bowl by itself and then you're going to fold it over into your cornbread dressing and at this point you're just going to take your time and i feel like when i take my time my food tastes a whole lot better and i feel like i'm cooking with more love whenever i'm not feeling stressed that's so why i like to make my cornbread the night before thanksgiving or just the night before period again just go ahead take your time mix everything in and then we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our pan and pop it in the oven. And we're gonna cook our cornbread at 375 for about 45 minutes. So this is everything that I am going to be using to prepare a small little Thanksgiving meal for me and my family. These are all the ingredients. I have my stuff from my macaroni and cheese and my dressing, if you don't know, you cook your dressing, your cornbread for your dressing the night before. And when I say it is so good, it's so good. I have to get my Toll House crackers out to add to it, you guys. But man, it is so amazing. And um, like I said, that's everything I use for my macaroni and cheese. If you're not using this Emperor margarine, I don't, you know, I don't know what you're doing. This is the best soul food butter right here margarine butter absolutely love it it's amazing i'm not doing a turkey this year because we're not hosting i'm just going to do a ham i have my orange juice i need to get out my um pineapples as well as my brown sugar for my ham i love using this macaroni i mean this cheese right here my macaroni um and i've also been loving this cheddar cheese soup it is top tier heavy whipped cream eggs macaroni noodles and i love using a little bit of this chicken base in my greens as well as in my macaroni it is really good you guys uh, i'm still missing a few few ingredients but for the most part this is everything i'm going to be using to cook and if you want to see how i prepare my thanksgiving meal then stay tuned now for my collard greens, I'm going to go ahead and add in my turkey meat into my Dutch oven. And I've been using the Dutch oven to make my greens now for over a year now. And when I say it is really good, it leaves the greens very tender and it traps in all of the heat. Now I'm going to go in and just add in all of my ingredients to my greens. And don't worry about having too much water into the pot because we're gonna go ahead and season the turkey meat as well as you wanna make sure your greens are very seasoned. And this water is gonna cook down and it's going to make what I like to call or what I know as pot liquor and you want your pot liquor to be very well seasoned. So go ahead and add in all of these seasonings. And again, I'm gonna make sure 
that I put in the description box everything that I used to make this meal. Now we're going to go ahead and cover and we're going to allow this to cook for an hour before we add in our greens. For my macaroni, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to boil my elbow macaroni. I've already added salt as well as oil to my pot. And now we're just going to go ahead and add in our macaroni noodles. And normally I used to let the, boil, the water boil. But now I don't because I kind of feel like it makes the noodles a little mushy. So we're just going to go ahead and add the entire box to the pot. And this is a few that I had left over um, from when I made soup. So I'm just going to add that little bit to the water as well. And we're going to let those cook for about 10 minutes or boil for about 10 minutes. Now let's go ahead and start our dressing for our cornbread mixture for our dressing. And I like to go in and add in townhouse crackers, two sleeves of those. And I do not use gloves, my hands are clean and I'm only cooking for my family or my household, you guys. But I feel like when you cook with love and you use your hands to cook, then I feel like you're putting more love into the food. So let's go ahead and mix everything in. And because I did not make a hen, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cart and a half of chicken stock into my cornbread mixture. And to my dressing, I like to go in and add in ground sage as well as poultry seasoning. I'm also going to be adding in onion and garlic powder into the mixture as well. Once we add in all of our seasons, we're going to go in with our soup seasoning. I like to add in cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, as well as cream of celery into the dressing mixture. And you also can add in four slightly beaten eggs. You're going to go ahead and add in your milk and now you're going to mix everything together and just take your time. Don't be in a rush and just mix everything in and if you need to add in more wet ingredient then you can. Before you add your dressing to the pan, make sure you go ahead and melt down another stick of butter for your pan, as well as cook it in the oven. I like to cook mine on 375 for about an hour and 45 minutes. Now we're going to start on the most important part of Thanksgiving, as well as a Sunday dinner, and that is our macaroni and cheese. I went ahead and I melted it down a stick of butter to go ahead and add into my macaroni and that's going to be the same pan I'm going to use to bake my macaroni in. Now we're going to combine the butter noodles as well as the cream of cheddar soup together and this is just something that I like to do. You don't personally have to do this but this is how I like to prepare my macaroni and cheese. Now we're going to go in and add in our heavy whipping cream. And I'm sorry, you guys, I don't truly measure things. I just kind of go ahead and cook till my heart tells me to stop adding in this or adding in that. I got like to go in and add in my chicken base. And this right here is not going to make it salty. It's going to give it a nice flavor. I used to cook my noodles in chicken broth but I no longer do that so I use the chicken base instead and when I tell y'all it makes it so flavorful and savory I absolutely love this macaroni it could be a meal by itself now that we have the heavy whipped cream combined we're gonna go in and add in salt and pepper 
and don't worry about it being too spicy it's not gonna make it spicy or salty at all just go ahead and add in those two seasonings into your macaroni and I'm not about to argue with you people in the comment section so let's keep it cute it's going to macaroni yes I said it it's going to macaroni and we're gonna be adding in three large eggs into our macaroni today Now we're going to go in with our pre-shredded Mexican blend cheese. I like using this cheese because it has a couple of different cheeses in it and it makes the macaroni very creamy as well as cheesy. So I like to go ahead and fold that over into my macaroni and cheese mixture. And once I have that folded in, then I like to go in and add another half a bag into the macaroni and cheese. Make sure you combine everything in together. Go ahead and scrape the side of the bowl because you want to get in all of this cheesy goodness into your baking dish. Y'all, this macaroni and cheese is so good and so flavorful and I always get compliments on it and it does not stand a chance in my house. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our macaroni and cheese into our baking dish. Do y'all see how rich and creamy this macaroni and cheese is? If you wanted to, you can go ahead and you can stop here, but no, I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab a bag of sharp cheddar cheese, and I'm going to sprinkle that all over the top of my macaroni. And then I'm gonna go in with some paprika, as well as what I like to call food glitter, which is parsley to make it really pretty. And we're gonna go ahead and add that on the top. And then we're gonna go in and add in a stick of melted butter on the top. And that's gonna give it a really nice crunchy flavor on top, as well as make it golden brown. By this time, our turkey meat has been cooking for about an hour, hour and 30 minutes. So now we're gonna go in and add in our wash greens. I don't care how many times the bag says wash, you're still gonna go in and you're going to wash your own greens. So we're gonna go ahead and add those to the pot. And when I say I just love making my collard greens in this Dutch oven, I love it. I purchased it from Sam's a few years ago and I've been using this to make my greens as well as other vegetables and this is how I'm gonna make them from now on. Baby, when I tell y'all I have these kitchen smell like my grandma kitchen growing up, y'all, it's bringing back so many childhood memories. Y'all, my kitchen smells so good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our remaining ingredients into our collard greens. And then we're gonna let our collard greens cook for about four, four and a half hours until they're tender. And again, don't worry about how much water is in the pot because it is going to cook down the longer it simmers and it's just gonna make the pot look even better. Y'all, I love me a good spiral ham. It makes the meat so much easier to pull apart and I just love a spiral ham. So to it, I like to go in and add in pineapple juice as well as orange juice and I love the way that it tastes with the glaze and I also like to go in and use brown sugar so we're just going to combine all of that together and then we're going to top it on top of our ham and before you add in your glaze kind of go ahead and try to separate the spirals so that the glaze can go all throughout the ham
and to cook my ham i like to go ahead and use this oven bag so i go ahead and i tie a knot in the top of the bag and then i take my scissors and i go ahead and i cut in a few holes just so the bag does not explode while it's cooking in the oven Now let's go ahead and check on our greens, y'all. Now they're looking so divine. They look so good. So let's go ahead and stir these babies up. And y'all see how that meat falling out the bone and all throughout the pot, y'all. These collard greens, they're so good. And we're gonna continue to let they cook, let them cook down for another two hours. But y'all, y'all see that? All those spices, peppers, and onions. Y'all, these greens, they're so good. Baby, look at this cornbread dressing. Doesn't it look good? Look how pretty it is. It's golden brown. You can see all of the vegetables that we added in. And y'all, I love me a good plate of dressing. I don't even have to have cranberry sauce with it. And I promise you guys, if you try this recipe, you're gonna fall in love with cornbread dressing. The mixture made enough for two pans, so I will be taking one of the pans to my cousin's house now let's get into this macaroni and cheese y'all do y'all not see that do y'all not see that y'all cannot tell me this is not southern style macaroni and cheese and y'all it is so good so rich so creamy absolutely loved it y'all it did not stand a chance in my house everybody loves it now let's go ahead and get into the ham Y'all, I love me a good spiral ham. I just want to go ahead and take a bite out of it now. But I'm going to keep it cute and I'm going to wait until everybody gets ready for dinner. Y'all, but this ham is so good. It's so juicy and I absolutely love the flavor. Our collard greens, they're done. They've been cooking for about four and a half hours. They're very tender. I am about to fix me a plate. Let me know in the comment section if you try any of my recipes. And I'll see y'all in my next video. XOXO, love Nicole.